Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. Working on my evil robot Colin. First video, kind of got everything set up a little bit. I'm going to start off by slapping down an automated machine parts factory because I only have 14 machine parts and I pretty much need machine parts to build everything that I have here. Thankfully this dust storm is uh, giving me a little bit of extra juice to work with. I don't want to open up this guy though. I'm going to need to build more wind turbines. Solar panels are useless for me right now. I'm going to turn... I'm just going to get this guy actually off for the moment, just because he takes so much power to operate. I do need a large wind turbine for it. Hmm. And he's using 18.5 due to the dust storm. I need essentially three of these guys normally to operate. I only have four machine parts though, so I'm actually in pretty rough shape. I've got a couple of rockets coming in right now. I've got another RC Explorer coming in, RC Transport. I've got my RC Harvester is just chilling over here. It's good and uh, maybe chilling over here by the base. Got the new wind turbine up and running. Um, this guy only discharged at a rate of, I believe, 20. Yeah, max output is 20. So I will be having brownouts through this action. Nope, can't even turn them off. Hmm. I'll do this. I'm gonna kind of do it like that. Having inactive work shifts, this will be off. Uh, right away, huh? Okay, running at minus 15. This burns really fast during that time. I'm gonna just gonna turn off my concrete extractor for the moment. It's gonna give me a little more time. This guy's offline, but I'll also turn the machine parts factory off during the overnight hours. This way I'll have be able to put a little bit of juice back into the grid. No, no, moot point. This only drains. The okay, max output here is 20. But during the overnight hours I'm getting, I have a surplus of 50. And I don't think I have atomic accumulators research yet. No, I don't. Alright, so... Kind of a sticking point. The extract. I remember this event. Ooh. Um. Okay. So Jordan stumbled upon a crashed supply pod, um, but I can either get two MDS lasers, which would protect us from meteors. I get a subsurface heater, which would protect us from cold waves. I get a shuttle hub, which is kind of useless right now, honestly. Or a triple electric scrubber. This will reduce maintenance. Given the options, I'm actually leaning for the MDS lasers. I love the idea of getting a scrubber on Sol 15, where we're at right now. Uh, 13, excuse me. I do like the idea of it, but I also like the idea of being able to protect myself um, from disasters. So first MDS, the only MDS right now, is going to be going in right here. I'm going to have that guy up and running. And granted, one scrubber could maintenance all of this, but one meteor can destroy all of it. This guy's here. Man, even the and I only have four right, I don't have any I don't have a RC constructor because that's it. That's uh, India's I was kinda hoping if I can get uh, scan. Ah here we go. What am I researching right now? Alright, story uh story bits and then we're gonna go to drone swarm. Vaporators, that's going to be really needed for me at this point without any nearby water. And then low G turbines, which can give me polymers. And even polymers, an automated polymer factory isn't going to be helping me much. We do actually have, ooh, some polymers over here. Actually have you. Okay. Drop off your metals, please. another power leak that's fine meteor storms over which is good in fact in that case I'm gonna turn my MDS off yeah this guy's not even op uh, the automated machine parts factory is not operational for a while I'm gonna grab that stuff want to wait until I get Explore AI before I grab this beaker. I want to get it. Don't get me wrong. I just want to make sure I'm getting it 
and putting it to the best use. If I do this, we have minus 15 on power. There we go. There we go. I can start building machine parts, because again, I'm out. And I gotta burn electronics for it. Great. More things I don't have really the capacity to deal with right now. One of these days, I see. Of course, these guys are consuming machine parts. Uh, solar panels? Not, uh, not functional right now during this dust storm, but I could build a lot of those. In fact, I'm probably going to build a bunch of solar panels. Just to have some sort of Resources supplemental power. Are low. And it would actually help keep this guy operational during the day. Um, kind of leaning up this way. I should do that. Research complete. Nope. Research cooperation. What are you going to offer me? Ooh, here we go. So we can either get 100 sponsor research, which is really helpful, a discount on research outsourcing, helpful, or just flat cash. Note that $500 million doesn't even buy 5,000 research. So the best options are one of these two. If I had a ton of money, which I mean, 2 billion I can work with, it's a lot, but 100 sponsor research is really helpful in that I can burn through these things a little bit faster. Okay, dust storm's almost over, which is good. These five should keep us up and running. I'm gonna turn this uh, machine parts factory off, mind you, during the overnight hours. That way, hopefully, I'm not burning through these things as badly as I am during the day. All right, dust storm is over. We did lose the boost from these guys, so we're still actually running shit, running a deficit still. Go ahead and you're operating. So we're filling this guy up slowly. All right, got a hey hey here. Wait, you have your 30 on board? Okay. We're gonna do the SETI satellite. Oh, thank God I got the right one. That would've been really awkward. And you're gonna take Harvester's got resources, the Explorer's got research progress. I'm actually gonna go for this first one, the resources. Alright. I'm actually gonna send this guy into the underground. Not gonna be able to, again, not gonna be able to do anything with the underground for some time, but I wanna at least try to get this project up and running. I do think flattening this whole plateau and then ramping down to the colony is the way to go with this one. I don't see... Do I even have the elevator tech? No, not researched. I can get to it though. Yeah, we're at plus 48 during the day. I'm not turning the... Actually, I gotta turn the fuel back on. This is a must actually. Even though I've got a little bit of water stored in here, it's not gonna do me much. Open you back up, running a surplus, cool beans, turn that on, minus two, okay. And I will actually keep this guy off during the overnight hours because these 25 power are kind of helping keep the grid stable during all of this. Sector scan. Show me. Come off that place. It's mostly scanned, so once I do decide to finish it off, I can easily just grab it and go. Got more vistas I can work with here. Um, what do we have here? More metals, more metals. This is good because the machine parts factory is going to be utilizing them. Just need to make sure as I'm going through these, I gotta uh, not really overdo it. You're actually full up. Let's go ahead and turn you off for the moment then. Okay, we've ripped through our fuel stores really fast because this one takes 50 fuel in addition to the 30 that it needs to launch, so we're going to be starving for a bit. These rockets are probably going to be here most of the episode, if not longer. Bit of a problem for me. But also, this is an advantage. My automated metals extractor is going to be still churning away, pulling materials out of the ground, so I can hopefully use that. Anomaly analyzed. Stuff out of here. I'm going to grab Hey Hey, not my harvester. Send him up this way. There's more to the barren here we go. There it is. planet than meets... Explore AI. Generate 100 per soul for each RC Explorer vehicle. Multiple vehicles are resulting in collaboration loss. So I'll get 180 
Uh, the first one has a collaboration loss of 20. Also got farms uh, popped out here, topology AI, asteroid landers, uh, large stations, don't care. Um, Attractive amplification and systematic training. So this one I will actually spend on the outsource. I don't know, I should put vaporators up above that. Just to make sure those are done. Ooh, Sterling Gen prefabs for spending five billion in funding. Again, these are the evil, uh, mission goals that my evil robot colony has. Export two billion worth of rare metals, which isn't much. That's like three ships worth. Uh, to get an extra billion in rewards, five smart complexes to get five celebrity applicants. Not going to be worrying about this one because I'm not again robots. Uh, Twenty colonists with a tourist trait gets us sixty tourist applicants and generate ten million within five souls for ten thousand research. This one, I'm thinking I could probably do if I get the space elevator up and running and also like just a ton of. Uh, Words, see, come on. Um, just have a ton of rare metals I can just send upstairs. Or send back to Earth. That'd be the way to get that one done very quickly. Alright, coming over here with that. A lot of metals over here just sitting around on the ground, so we can utilize that. Hey, hey is up here with his thing. And this guy is almost fully loaded up. Wow, we got uh, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, the harvester is actually doing pretty well for me. Left three on the ground there, which is okay. Bring it all back. We utilize them again. Looks like this. Looks like um, the SETI satellite mission is going to get done first, which is totally fine. Um, my hope with this one is send this one off, get the two billion dollars, and then send this rocket back, this Prometheus one. Send Prometheus one back to Earth with the rare metals to start working up for that next goal, come back with a full load of electronics, and then do the high-speed comm satellite mission to get us even more sponsor research. That's what's going to be keeping me alive until I get the positronic brain built up, until I get... I think service bots is going to be a need. Service bots and positronic brain are going to be two that I have to have before I go too deep into this series. Speaking of too deep, let's go ahead and build a ramp. I'm gonna build it kind of here. I'm gonna need waste rock. Perfect. So we're gonna need. So it's gonna create waste rock, but also need waste rock. Also, it's right near the colony site, so I can run down the hill with it. Um, it is also gonna take all of my drones away from what they need to be doing, but it's gonna get this done up very quickly. I just have to clear this little section out. It'll get flattened off, and I can send. Probably this explorer, I'm honest, down into the low ground. Let's grab this key. Be very careful because I'm not going to be able to send drones down to, to repair. Once he once he goes down, he's pretty much going to be on his own until like an RC commander show up. And then we have a flat research Sector anomaly down scanned. there. Got another key up here, which is perfect for me. This is going to keep unlocking things going further and further down the tech tree. And we'll see what we get researched here with Explore AI. Look at it, we've got 1,300 research at the moment. That number's going to jump to close to 1,500 here in just a second. Research complete. Man, I love this game. All right, drone hubs um, available to me. Going to work on vaporators. Again, because I need, the, need that increase in production. Thinking back to the last video I did, the, the Chaos Colony, and having Europe and the RC Seeker as an available thing, that actually worked really well in my favor. My right, first rocket is off, Prometheus 2 is available. You're just right here chilling. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren yeah, environment. Yeah, look at that, a lot of stuff. Underground domes can be helpful if I decide to send some bio robots downstairs. Probably will. Dozer rovers, good. Water reclamation, large water tanks, train stuff, whoop de doo and Mars crowdfunding. I'm actually going to do Mars crowdfunding with what I've got here because I can actually use that, reinvest it, and get 5,000 more research. Excuse me. I don't know where I'm getting these little, uh, little hiccups, these little burps coming from this morning. It's, it's not even 3.45 in the morning when I'm recording this. My, uh, my new co-pilot is asleep right now, thankfully. And also my first co-pilot, she is 
definitely used to be asleep. A little too early for her to be awake. And where's my harvester? There you are. Gotta grab these things. Gotta keep having my hey hey collecting things. I do know I can do routes and just like just grab everything in an area and bring it back. Which is probably what I'll do with hey hey and the section here. So actually set up a transport route. I don't do this much. I just I kind of I find it more fun personally to just like do a little bit of the auto setup. But there was a recommendation in the last series to do transport routes for these types of things. So I'm going to try, keyword, to do that instead. Be a little more uh, judicious with it. Um, how long is that one going to take? Three soul 18. Let's take a do a trade here. I'm going to trade off some of my concrete for polymers because I'm running extremely low on that. And I do also know that once I get low G power turbines up and running, I will be able to upgrade those. And I'll need polymers for that. Let's see if anybody's willing to do any trades with me. Nobody wants to trade. You guys suck. Alright, um, let's try metals for polymers. I've got some of those. Actually, I shouldn't be trading a lot of my metals off just because I'm not mining any metals actively at the moment. Wow, these colonies all suck. Who are my colonies here again? Brazil. Brazil is an awesome colony. These guys are great. Uh, no interest in trading right now. They also have 18 standing with me. Yikes. Uh, Kona, neutral, no, minus one. And the IMM. Hmm. Hired more colonists, landed colonists on Mars, subsurface heating. Yeah, I guess I'm about to do some covert ops with all of these folks just to really piss them off as best I can. But I do think it's going to lead to story events that will not be favorable for me when I do it. So just keep that in mind that in the later game, I might be doing covert ops to steal technology, steal colonists, and it's going to come back and bite me. I don't think that they're going to be all kumbaya about what I'm going to be doing to their colonies. They're going to be pissed, and rightfully so, to get that done up. Uh, we got heirloom event popped up as a meteor came down and took out the power line over here. Are you there, God? Thank you. Wait, where's this thing? Yeah. Not. Yeah, didn't wake up the kid. So I can get super fungus. Screw that idea. I can get superior cables and pipes. Yes. Nano refinement. What? I mean, it's, it's, it's a good one to get. Or plasma rocket. Plasma rocket is actually pretty good with the long ride event, but I'm sorry. Superior pipes and cables. Thank you. Getting these two at 21 and 2800 respectively, they're some of the first breakthroughs that, you, that I'm able to get in the game. Done. Game over. I win. I no longer have to worry about a lot of things with this. Sector scanned. Oh, uh, this is a leak here. That's why. This guy shut down because of that. But okay. I'm, I'm totally okay now with getting all of these things in this game going so much better. But now I have the stronger task. I've got to get the, the service bots to help with the Watney challenge, and I've got to get the bio robots, the positronic brain, to help with that. In fact, where is... You're up here just waiting on stuff to scan out. Cool beans. Go over here, and gonna get, we're going to push through vaporators. Get cables first, then pipes. So I think if I need to build power lines out to any site, I need to be able to connect them all very quickly. I think that's going to be the way to go here. With nobody wanting to trade with me, unfortunate, I'm going to have to pretty much rely on myself Research complete. getting stuff done. All right, vaporators are done, and I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this guy right away. It's going to take two of my six polymers left. But it is going to let me start actually putting a little bit of extra water into this tower. So that when the next dust storm arrives, not if... I'm going to be able to say, oh yeah, here's the extra stuff, and boom, right there, we're starting to get some extra water flowing. It'll hold 200 water, that's fine, but it also means I could probably build a second fuel refinery relatively soon to get that all up and running. How's my ramp looking? Ramp is looking done. Okay. You have some metals down here. There's a lot of metal that I can get my hands on in this area. Anomaly analyzed. Yes. 
the mostest I can getest. That wasn't even, those weren't even words. Those weren't even attempted words. All right. I am going to keep an eye on this guy Research here. Complete. Superior cables. Done. Look at that. It's soul 18. I've got some of the best breakthroughs in the game done. Martian steel. I think I had this one as an A tier. But superior cables done. Superior pipes being researched. Lovely, lovely stuff, this. This course, got to make sure that there aren't any uh, things popping up here. We'll go ahead and send the explorer down. We'll go ahead and take a look at him again. Want to make sure this is clear, then I'm going to send the guy back up onto the ramp for safety. I don't think... Keyword? Um, no, wait, I know they can. I know these dust devils can absolutely um, hit this thing anywhere. But if I have him kind of in a spot where he's safe, then I shouldn't have to worry about it. I Just by scrolling up, I, ran, I realized that I can actually get uh, a couple more sterling gens down here. The one right there. That's going to allow me to have extra power in the overnight hours. Go ahead and open you up, please. Actually, no. Close you. Close. Close these guys. These are, these are the ones sucking up my polymers. Anomaly found. All right. We've got a series of tubes. we got some water down here. This looks, looks like regolith. I'm just going to drive around a little bit before I start scanning. Just to see what I can find. I'm just going to click around here randomly. Yeah, we got a collapsed tunnel here. Probably telling me there's something good down here. Nope, nothing I can see right away. And no, I also have active plate tectonics on board, or on this playthrough, so if this guy gets trapped, Anomaly found. he's stuck. That's probably one of those, actually. I'm going to retreat back to Anomaly the entrance. Whoa, stream close up. All right. Both the rockets are on their way. Didn't realize he'd finished up with his uh, little project. Anomaly analyzed. Yes! I'll totally take 35 polymers right now. That's super, super helpful for me. Hmm, actually, I don't need to have... Uh... I was talking about sending Prometheus 1 back with the... Materials to do the um, high speed comm satellite, but I don't need to because Prometheus 2 is going to be returning. I don't have enough fuel to send them off, which it's fine. But I can get him back Mars side, get him loaded up with everything I need to go back, including a bunch of rare metals. Mm -hmm. And then once he goes back to Earth, he can order up the materials he needs. So we're going to order, we're going to allow, sorry, um, exports on this. You you left with a bunch of metals? Weird. All right, Hey's done his thing. There is another beaker down here I can easily get my hands on. All right. It is starting to wind down. Go ahead. Series of tubes. Anomaly found. <laughs> There's going to be some extra stuff here. I mean, best case scenario, I'd be looking at like some polymers, some electronics, some food. It's usually, it's fairly random. Barely in air quotes there. Um, what do you kind of do with these ones? I, I am kind of thinking like how I'm going to connect that. Well, actually, no, I don't have to worry now. I just need to build the ramp. I just have to flatten that whole area off and create the ramp. Superior pipes and cables for the win. All right, flatten. Okay, can't get too close to that guy. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna go really dangerous or derby with this. Just bear with me. Yeah, see what I'm trying to do here. It's not letting me do it, though. There's the last two little dots there, and I can't get it. That's going to require a bunch of waste rock. That's fine. It's going to also create a shitload of waste rock. Okay, I need to get an RC Explorer to come back up, too. Once this guy's refueled, it should. 
be able to make this work. What do we got here? We got food, electronics, and polymers. Yes, this is a, a great little combo to get my hands on. Early on, we got a collapsed tunnel right off of the, right off of this. Just tell me there's some rare anomalies close by. Nope. <laughs> that was a big one too. That is gonna be a concern for me. Um, fiddling with the underground in this one uh, playthrough because the active plate tectonics is going. This is probably grow food. Yeah. Yeah, can't no get past that. Damn. Research. Research complete. All right, Sterling Gen's kind of helpful. Recon Center, helpful. Dozer Rover. I should do Drone Swarm. I need to work down these uh, trees, if I'm honest. Yep, yeah, I think this is a good one. Just work my way down robotics, physics, engineering. I don't need to work down terraforming and biotech. Actually, hang on. I do want to get Logi shaft tunneling uh, researched. I actually don't want to scan this guy because if it's actually if it's the cave in one, I can pull the rover back and be done with that. You are full on my oh shit! I can work with that. I can totally work with having milestone um, achieved. Yay, special project. Hmm. Again, not worried about these ones because I'm not going to get these three. Everything else, I'm going to be able to get my hands on. Sector A9 had a bunch more metals available to me. Cool. I guess I need to start scanning down on the lower ground. Deep scanning is not going to be available for me for some time. Brazil is offering a trade route that I don't want to get near. And we've got 24 of 30 fuel. I can work with that. The still increasing water up there. All right. So looking at my, just running the math in my head right now, I need to get, I need to get electronics done here. Go ahead, and I'm gonna make this guy the priority. We've got 30 um, rare metals, so we're gonna get some cash to uh, spread around. Let's see, do these guys offer anything? Um, they want what I can't give them right meow. Why do you guys want polymers? I need polymers. Are you guys not with the polymers at the moment? Like, I, I'm kind of needing them. But Prometheus 2, sending him off, we should be okay. Oh, it's just more resources. Oh, sweet, it's more electronics, more polymers. Okay. Wait, wait, was I able to go any further over here? I don't think I was. Yep, I'm at the end of the tunnel on this one. Alright, we're stuck here for the moment. Until I can get down here, clear some collapsed tunnels, and... Yeah, that's probably just dead. So I gotta get the elevator built. Just tell me I need to get an RC commander. I get an RC commander over here. I can kind of flatten this whole plateau out, and then ramp, and then just put a nice, easy ramp down, build the elevator up there, and should, keyword, be able to explore that. Because the other underground entrance is way the hell over here. It kind of sucks I don't have the... If I had the elevator tech, what I could do is build that one, bring my guy back up, run him down to this one, send him down on that side, figure out where, they two, where the two sides connect, and then kind of build toward each other. Superior pipes and cables, again, perfect in this situation, because I can... Um, I can just run the pipes and cables anywhere I need to. Like over here, if I wanted to, not a terrible idea this, just go right through this, uh, just flatten this area out and go straight to this water supply, I totally can. It's just a matter of, well, A, do I want to? B, what would I do with the waste rock? And C, do I want to spend a drone hub up here where there's no resources other than this water deposit and this metal deposit that I'm probably not gonna be utilizing all that much. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff involved in here. Oops. Oh, for the launch sequence, please. Can you have this polymers off, please? Why are we... Oh, because I don't have a dedicated storage Research for those guys. Complete. Okay. Load the polymers off, please. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. 
Alright, drone swarm is done, and also is reminding me I need to get a large universal depot down somewhere. Oh, that's actually a pretty good spot for it. Put it right here. So large universal depots, again, I believe this is in the UCP. You want to pick it up, it's in the description for this video. Um, Chogi did it, and Chogi is one of the best... Who is Chogi? One of the best modders in this game. Um, this is actually going to make it work much, much easier for me, because I now have storage for Sector all of these machine parts, all of these things that I do need to get my hands on. I'm at the 30 minute mark, but I'm going to go just a little bit longer. Um, once this rocket, actually no, this rocket is going to take a while to get back to Earth. Next video, I'll order up the materials to get the uh, satellite up and running. It is going to take a ton of fuel, mind you, which, you know, I've got plenty of that available to me. Not. Um, Cold wave approaching. Make things even worse for me. Do I have that subsurface heat attack? I do. It's gonna be right there. I'm gonna build it, and then I've got to get more water production up and running. So there may be a supply pod coming down right now. Okay. Not doing that if I only if I can wait a minute. Five hundred million dollars to get this. I'll make it work. I do need both those guys up and running because if I can keep, because this moisture vaporator is going to be spending fuel on this or water, excuse me, on this, and I need water for there. I don't have enough water going around. This this tower is going to freeze. Fine, but I do need to keep stuff supplied um, during this coming cold wave. Power is going to be an issue, but thankfully this automated uh, factory. If I just scotch the area up like this. It'll be in the. It'll be heated, and I won't have to worry about it drawing more power than it needs to. Is the other buildings that I'm gonna have to worry about for it. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.